Hello, happy Sunday. We are on day 12 of coronavirus break, day 12 of reading a poem a day from Pablo Neruda's The Book of Questions. Being Sunday, I'd like for us to uh, listen to a paragraph here about these poems uh, and what people have decided to do with them uh, since Sunday is a, a day of reflection. All right. It says, uh, in 10 years since the original publication of this translated edition of the book of questions that we're reading, its celebration of mystery has acted as a unifying force among people of vastly varying experiences and ages. For instance, a Seattle children's theater group interpreted several of the poems in a performance for parents and friends. How fun. An experimental theater company incorporated the questions in a quasi-narrative script for one of their video productions. And a Los Angeles modern dance company set several of the poems to music and movement. And one of the questions even appeared in a Hollywood feature film about a woman's struggle to compete, or sorry, to complete U.S. Navy SEAL training. Maybe it was G.I. Jane. At any rate, these poems, more so than any of Neruda's other work, uh, remind us humans that living in a state of visionary surrender to the elemental questions, free of the quiet desperation of clinging too tightly to answers, may indeed be our greatest act of faith. Neruda believed that the inner quest was never ending. That on some level, what we learned was forgotten so that we might learn it again. Let's see if any of these questions help us recollect things we have forgotten since childhood. All right, poem 12, we have four questions. Here we are in Espanol. Y a quien le sonría el arroz con infinitos dientes blancos. ¿Por qué en las épocas oscuras se escribe con tinta invisible? ¿Sabe la bella de Caracas cuántas faldas tiene la rosa? ¿Por qué me pican las pulgas y los sargentos literarios? All right, and in English, number one, at whom... Does rice smile with infinitely many white teeth? Why in the darkest ages do they write with invisible ink? Does the beauty from Caracas know how many skirts the rose has? And the last one for this lovely sunny Sunday. Why do fleas and literary sergeants bite me? Well, I hope you've had a great week. I'll see you tomorrow, Monday, for another day of Ripka reading Neruda during Corona.